So at this point, it's not too helpful for us to really go in depth into setting up this package just because of some of the explanation that needs to be done behind the scenes and the configuration that needs to happen. And we're going to look pretty much at Babel on its own because there are some different ways to work with it. However, I mentioned here that one of the ways that we could work with it is adding it into Atom. So at this point, we're not really going to demo, we're not really going to show too much, but what I'll just mention here and show you is that basically you can set up a place for this Babel file to be transpiled and saved to, and then link to that in your code, and Adam will go ahead and automatically rewrite and transpile your code. But we'll come back to this when we look at transpilers in depth. So for now, let's go on to the last of our language support packages, and that is Adam Easy JS Doc. And what this allows us to do is do a simple shortcut Control shift d or Control shift j and we can automatically get this js doc formatted type of comment that will allow us to easily create clickable navigation for our documentation. And again, with this plugin, like with Babel, we're not going to get too much in depth into demoing this or looking at it now because we will come back to JS Doc later on in the course. I just want to mention that it is something that is helpful to have installed and again we'll come back to this a little bit later. And th that's to point out that with code editors and working with plugins and the same thing goes for WordPress, sometimes you can install something that opens a whole bunch of doors or integrates with a really powerful other tool and then you need to go about setting out how to figure out how that other tool works. So all of that kind of ties in nicely with wrapping up the Atom language packages that we've talked about here and moving into some Atom tool packages because it is possible for, as we've seen, Atom to integrate with third-party tools.